Hello, my name is Madison Bush. I'm 11 years old. I'm in the sixth grade and I live in Leland, Mississippi. Today I will be preparing for you Master Choli with a creamy mush, a homemade creamy mushroom sauce with chicken tenderloin and a side of sauteed spinach. First, we will put the pasta in the boiling water so you can go ahead and start cooking. After that, we will be putting the butter and the oil inside of the pan so we can go ahead and start cooking. So now the butter is melting. So now I'll be putting the oil inside so the butter will not burn. Well, now I'm waiting for the butter to be melting, and after the butter is melting, I will put the mushrooms in and let the mushrooms cook down. Okay, while that is melting, I will be seasoning my chicken. First, I'll be doing a combination of salt and pepper. Flip them over and do the same thing. Now I will be putting the garlic powder on there. Flip them over and do the same thing. Now we be putting the mushrooms in. Okay, while well, that is cooking down, after I have seasoned my chicken, I will be getting this together. Chicken inside of the grill skillet, so we have some type of char. Oh, and I will put it back in the oven so it will bake. Now the chicken is ready to go back in the oven. I will turn my oven down a little bit so it doesn't burn. Okay, now after that, I will be doing, not my spinach yet, but I will be chopping my onion. I will be stacking my ends up so I can so I can cut them another way. Okay, 
Okay, after that, I will go back to the lotion and check on the lotion. Okay, so after that, I will go back to cutting my onions. Okay, I am dicing my onions. Okay, that is done right now. So then I will be going back to the mushrooms. Mushrooms haven't cooked down yet, but they should in the next probably five minutes. Right now, I will put those in the bowl. Then I will start back putting my other parts of the mushroom. Okay, now I'll be checking the chicken to make sure it's not burning. Well, I think it's now to flip it over so that they won't burn. Pasta. I'll be checking the pasta. When I check on the pasta, I'm making sure they're not burning into the pan. And if they are, you might want to turn the heat down. So, I did that. It looks like the pasta needs to cook just for a little bit longer. And after that, I will be coming back to check on the pasta. Now I'll be coming back to chop up the rest of my spit, the rest of my onions.
Okay, now I'll be going back to my chicken. white wine to them then after that I'll be adding Dijon mustard then heavy cream and then after that I will be doing my spinach My chicken is cooking, my pasta is cooking, and my mushrooms are sitting and simmering in the white wine. So after that, now I have to make sure my spinach is well seasoned before I saute it. Put a little salt and pepper on them. After that, that's all you need to season your season my spinach. So after that, I'm just gonna let them sit there and make sure everything else is cooking quite right. Okay, so the white wine and the mushrooms are going very good. The pasta will be overcooking for looks like the pasta might be done. I'm gonna let them sit for another one to two minutes, and they should be done cooking. And now, the white wine, now you see, it is not boiling, but it is sort of simmering. And you can tell that it's putting the flavor into the mushrooms. After that, I will 
be hitting my I feel like well, after that's done I will be putting my Dijon mustard in there and after that I will be doing my heavy cream and after the heavy cream is done then my creamy mushroom sauce will be officially done and then I'll be checking on the chicken make sure they don't burn Just to about 350 and no more than So now I will be making sure this is seasoned very well. Looks like it is. So with this, I will be doing this. And now I will start cooking my spinach at a low heat because I don't want to burn the spinach either. I will be putting just a little bit of oil in them. Since the spinach is healthy, you don't want to add too much oil, or if your spinach will be very creamy. Dijon mustard in there. I'm going to start around 
two mushrooms. Let's make sure the mushrooms are getting very low. Well. white wine and Dijon mustard. When it gets to that stirring point, I will now add the heavy cream. I'm adding the heavy cream to give that creamy texture to it. Get the spoon and stir it up so the cream gets all around. I think that some of our pasta has stuck to the pan. So I'll just get my fork and use it and scrape it a little bit. Sometimes some don't come up. Now we add my spinach. I'm 
brush and just cooking through. during my mushrooms off. I will put my cream mushroom sauce on top of my pasta. And now my and now I will put garnish my parsley on top to give it that color and flavor, the extra flavor that it needs. Okay, and now I have made for you your mastachello pasta with a creamy mushroom sauce and chicken tenderloin with a side of sauteed spinach. 